Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Hungary. So, we are basically waiting for the war all the way over here in Japan to end. This is the last uh, front, I believe, right? Uh, Japan is the only person, who, well, it's the only country, not person, only country that has not capitulated. So, we are just waiting for that and then we can do the uh, peace deal screen, which will be fun. But in the meantime, we kind of control this. Um, it's interesting. Oh, okay. Um, the second Brazilian Republic joins the Allies. Oh, so they switched to a Republic, I guess. Because I don't think they were a Republic at the start. Um, Iran has capitulated to the Soviets. So, the Soviets now control every, much everything they're going to control. How much land, like, who are they at war with now? I think they're just in our war now, and that's it. Yep. Okay. Cool. We're missing resources, but we're going to be missing resources forever. And then the United Kingdom called Brazil into this war. I mean, sure, might make a difference. A little bit far away from Japan, but I mean, everything's a little bit far away from Japan, really. It's fine. Still waiting on the US to actually get their act together and start pushing their way up here. France to get their act together with the UK and push in the rest of this bit of Japan. You know, that sort of stuff. It'll take them a while, but I can do it. Um, now, the thing is, we could go and prepare a naval invasion. Like, we could go to the coast here. Like, in the Yugoslavian Confederation. We could prepare a naval invasion of Japan if we wanted to. Like, we could go and help out in the islands. I mean, it's not ridiculous, right? Gives us something to do. I would like to do a naval invasion. So we'll choose this as our source. And then right click the desired coast province to invade. I wish to invade um, this province. There we go. Let's see how that goes. Uh, no, cancel. That's fine. That's what I'd like to do. Uh, and do it. Let's see if they'll actually do this themselves, or whether I need to send them to things. Alright, do I need to assign units to this? Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, total limit zero. Ah, we don't have any ability to navally invade. That's fine. That's what I was looking for. If we can't navally invade, then there is absolutely no point in doing anything. We can't navally invade because we have no convoys, that's it. I mean, we could attempt to walk all the way to Japan, but... Let's be realistic, that's not going to happen. Anyway, let's just wait for these guys to win the war for us. Come on, I believe in you. Here we go, starting to close in around this bit here. They can't have that many defenders in this section. Actually, I don't think they have any defenders in this section. Yeah, there is nobody here. I don't know why they don't just take the land. That means they don't have to have a front line there anymore. Seems very odd to me. Also, I love how the shadows go on the water, but it's like, these are just giants. It's actually kind of cool the way it's like walking along the edge there. Looks kind of uh, neat. See, this is what it's done to me, waiting for the war against Japan. It's, um, we, I'm now just analyzing the shadows going, oh, those look quite nice. Now, now you see, these don't look good because they're just floating in midair. The other ones look kind of alright. No, that one doesn't look very good either. Hmm. Okay, two more provinces. And we will stop looking at shadows. There we go. Right. This entire front line has now disappeared. And it should go somewhere else. Uh, US. Still having trouble with islands. And the concept of islands. The UK has come over here. And it's discovered islands. And it's uh, working out. Um, yep. Got a few places up here. Uh, how much till they capitulate? Are they even slightly thinking about it yet? They are not thinking about it in the slightest, no. Okay. So it looks like the UK is going to try and push into this island next. Um, and it looks like that's where they're going to send all their forces. Fair enough, fair enough. The Pax Americana. Looking to the conflicts of the other uh, continents, Franklin Delano Roosevelt has announced a new foreign policy program intended to keep the peace at home. Any government on American continent may appeal to the United States for military um, protection. 
should they feel threatened by their neighbours. While not a guarantee of any particular state of... Uh, while not a guarantee of any particular state, the desire for peace in America is no longer just a dream, but official American policy. With peace at home, the US can focus on our enemies abroad. Okay. Fine. Uh, we're just waiting for these uh, troops to finally build up somewhere. Got some UK troops over here. Are they, um, and some non- and some Philippines troops. I'm trying to figure- oh, the UK troops are kind of stacked underneath. Okay. I should figure out if they're trying to do like a naval invasion thing, like up here. That might be what- oh, these guys just went to a port, so maybe they're- that's not real- that's not port, okay. I thought it was a port. I thought they were trying to do some naval invasions. Basically just trying to work out what the AI is doing. It, it's never a good sign. The AI is never doing anything useful. You guys gonna go and try and get this island? You're not interested in it anymore, okay. Hey, do you wanna win the war? No, I'm not interested in it. How long to, oh, we got nuclear bombs in five days. Okay. Cool. Definitely seems like a good idea. How's our construction on a nuclear facility going? Not so good. Not so good at all. Okay. Nuclear bomb. We've discovered nuclear bombs. Good. Um. I mean, I don't know what we need for a nuclear bomb, so I'm just going to leave that open. So if I wanted to build a nuke, how would I do? How would I go about this? Production? Like build nuke? How how do we nuke? Ah, oh, there we go. Click to drop a nuclear bomb. First step: we have nuclear bombs. That's the first problem. All the rest must be true. At least seventy-five percent air superiority in the region. We could work well, at least one strategic bomber in the region. We have a strategic bomber. We haven't even looked at what strategic bombers are yet. Okay. Aircraft. We need a strategic bomber. Well, we'll get one of those. It's probably going to be faster than the nuke. Right, now if we go to production, we're actually going to get rid of all of this. Now, we don't need any of that. Don't need any of those production lines. Now, the only thing that we need is something that we don't have yet. We're going to get rid of all of them. Um, right, now we're also going to um, stop trading everything. So where's trade? Trade, we're just going to like have a look at what we've got trades with. Soviets, uh, nope. Uh, cancel trade. We're going to cancel all the trades and this will give us our civilian factories back. Um, there we go. This should give us all of our civilian factories back. This should mean that our construction of the nuclear facility goes a little bit quicker. It'll finish in two years. Now we're also... Mm, the question is, how long does it take com to convert one uh, military factory to a civilian factory? Um, there we go. Let's do that. Let's push it up to the main thing. How long is it going to take? It's going to take a whole year to do. Is that worth it? And uh, No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to see whether we could have them working on multiple things at the same time. Mm. So that takes a whole year to convert a factory, right? Wait, let's have a look at May the 9th. So yeah, that's a whole year to convert a factory. No, it's not worth it. Okay. That's fine. Well, at least it's not worth it for us right now. Okay. Let's try and build this nuclear facility. It gives us a way out if we're, like, if the AI just completely messes up, we can just drop some nukes on Japan and everything will be fine. But right now, the AI seems to be having trouble. So we can, uh, we just help it out a little bit. And once we, uh, research strat bombers, then we can actually, uh, build a strat bomber, then we can start getting rid of all of our, mil our uh, military factories. But we need a strat bomber first. One that can drop nukes. So, uh, yeah. And we also need air superiority in the region. 
Uh, which means we should probably send our aircraft wherever they are. Where are our aircraft? Did I click the wrong one again? I clicked the wrong one again. We get our aircraft from here. Let's send them. Um, rebase you all. Now I want you all to be rebased up. Um, is there like a place we could properly rebase? I mean, we go to here. That's not really that much better. The Philippines have any? They have an air base. Yeah. Is that the best option we're going to get? Probably. I think so. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll go Philippines. Philippines air base. Uh, let's go drop all of us in there. Cool. I think that's all of them, right? Uh, yeah, you're all moving. You're all moving. You're all moving. Good. Once they rebase, then we can uh, send them up to here and get them to do stuff. Oh, there's actually an even better airbase in Macau. Yo, all of you, we're actually going to rebase you to Macau. We can. Um, we actually have too many aircraft. Okay. Uh, there's no airbases nearby. Okay. That's fine. Wait till we get all of our things over. Are we looking at research? Um, a hundred days. Air wings with no missions. Cool. Uh, improved rocket engines. Might as well get the next level. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, air wings with no missions. You will assign you. And you'll get us air superiority in the coast of Japan. Um... We can't send you to do it there. It'd be nice if it like showed you a range around. Like I can go this far, so I can do the Philippine Sea. It's not really great as range goes. Okay, that's fine. So, anything else I need to worry about? Not really. Just let things chill out. We're currently not producing any nuclear bombs. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, so it's just a year? Two years? Yeah, two years. Almost directly at this point. So, they should be able to take out Japan in two years, I would hope. How are the US doing? Um, I think these islands are a little bit closer than the other ones were. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, some of these guys are definitely moving across the water. There's a lot more of these ones than there were before over in uh, this area. Yeah, they're, they're definitely coming over. That's good. Uh, looks like they're being pushed off again on a small island. Hanan. Um, okay. Construction's still going. Research is still going. Concentrate industry is about to finish. We'll soon increase our factory output. That'll be good. Hopefully. There we go. Concentrate industry is done. Um get some things that allow us to get our own resources. Not really that useful. Uh, let's get um, production efficiency growth. And the reason we're getting that one is that will allow us to uh, get production efficiency more quickly on our strategic bomber. Because we only need one. So we might as well uh, get it to be built as quickly as possible. It's also going to cost us some other stuff. But that's fine. It's going to cost us um, some resources we won't have. But it's ah, it's not that important. Okay. Kind of wondering what's going on over there. Like, what was the problem? Uh, U.S. Where? You, oh my God! Look at this. This is this is a better way of invading. Let's just uh, send people over one 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 unit at a time, just straight into the coast. Fantastic. Are these uh, paratroopers, I would assume? From the way that they uh, are appearing in here? And the way that they are dying instantly when they uh, drop? Yeah, there's some paratroopers. Oh, they were dying instantly. They're, they're actually just kind of nearby. Alright. Oh, right. They are actually going past Japan. I thought they were dropping in on Japan. But they're actually going past and then over here to China. Okay. 
Weird. Alright. I thought they were doing a naval invasion, which would have been cool. Would have been really cool to see them do a naval invasion. They're not doing it though. Uh, forward interception is almost done. We can get the next thing of that. Probably won't be very important. Are you just creating a front line of the Soviets now? Whoa, where, where are you going? You're creating a front line with China from the Soviet side. I, I don't understand what you're doing. This is not how you attack Japan. I'm fairly certain. Um... Yes. Anything we want in here? Need to, there's nothing we need, like, at all. We could get, I don't know, synthetic oil. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter, we're not going to build it. That's pretty much where I'm at right now. So we'll just leave it there. Because there's nothing that we're going to need. So we'll just keep it going. You figured out to get onto the island yet? Nope. Okay. You figured out to get onto any of the islands yet? Not really. Ah, well. We'll, we'll uh, continue waiting for the AI to do their stuff. I'm just, uh, like, the reason I keep looking around is I'm in the hope that I'll see the AI doing something that I approve of. Uh, I have not yet seen this. Um, I love how they've got them all the men at the borders. It's like... Japan is here. They're hostile to you. Do we attack them? No, we better put our men at the borders. Okay. Fine. Fine, fine. Alright. So when do we finish our strategic bomber? 42 days. It's not too long away. Yeah. The game seem, does seem to have slowed down a little bit than uh, early game, as in physically it's slowed down. It's um, We're not progressing through time as quickly. Um, don't know why that is, but it just seems to be happening. Oh well, nothing to worry about. Just let it continue going on. And over here, nope, AI is still struggling. US troops are going somewhere. They're sure going somewhere. I think they're attacking Iran. Oh, they're, right, okay, there's a small number of Japanese troops in Iran. And the US has decided to send their entire force to attack them. I see. It all makes sense now. Nobody thought, hey, maybe we could attack the Japanese mainland. Oh, uh, well. You guys, no. You've you're been there for a while now. Not gonna trick me into thinking you're doing something again. Oh, are they actually about to get on the island? 91% or, or whatever the 91 yeah it's I assume it's percent because it gets goes to 100 and then it's done and it failed oh okay well that's unfortunate how long to a strategic bomber 17 days fantastic that'll definitely help out this finished August 23rd um, modified by scraping the barrel Oh, if we got rid of scraping the barrel, that would go quicker. Oh, okay. Because it lowers our factory output. So if we go for all adults serve, that is better. But it costs us a lot more to go to something like Disarm Nation. Which would be absolutely perfect. But actually, what we really want to go to is... Extensive Conscription. Um, but this does make it go 10% quicker. How long is it going to take? It's going to take um, one. We get one political power per day. It's going to take about another 200 days, and then we get an extra 30% off. Well, we get 40% off overall, which be an extra 30% off. Hmm. Okay. Um. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure what the math is on that, but I think that it's probably better to just go for all adults serve. I don't know. What, what's the other benefit of it? Training time and factory output. We'll go all ad adult serve. There we go. That means our construction will actually be done in June the 30th. Yeah, we saved two months. There we go. Well, it's about 200 days from now anyway, isn't it? Yeah. 
it, it, it's about, you know, whatever. Six, half a dozen. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.